Hello guys and welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do a couple of things with uh, 2014 MacBook Pro 15 inch. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace its battery. Um, the battery you see right here, this is the original one. I pulled it out and um, it was it was getting old. Um, it has about 750 um, cycles through it and it was it was not holding charge very well it would last probably two three hours just um, being online and just watching YouTube and all of that kind of stuff not even putting um, heavy load on it so it was time to replace the battery also another thing I'm gonna do is while the battery was out I had to run the laptop for a couple of days without the battery just on the power cord and I'll explain why while that was happening, while I was running it on, uh, without the battery, I noticed my laptop was running a lot slower. It was uh, very slow. It was just just creeping. And so I, I thought about it and I, I thought maybe because the battery gives you more juice, more power when it needed it. Um, it was running slow because of that. I didn't know. So what I did this time for this uh, video as well is I did a um, Geek, Geekbench. Um, I'm gonna post two scores on the Geekbench. First score I'm gonna post, um, and you're gonna see it right now, right here. This is the score of the MacBook Pro 15-inch 2014 model um, i7 processor, and you see the spec right here on the bench test, um, without the battery. This is the test just on the power cord. Um, when the power cord was plugged in, in a laptop, and the battery was out. So. This is the numbers, um, and later on, once we install the battery and I'll run the test, again, we'll post the numbers with the battery and we'll see if there's any difference. But I feel like a MacBook Pro is running a lot slower. Now, let me uh, let me talk about the battery. I purchased the battery um, from this guy right here. I'm putting a link right here on eBay. Um, it was a $55 shipped from California, and I got my first battery um, that was earlier last week. And uh, as once I pulled my battery out, I put the new one in, and it was completely dead battery. It was not recognized by Mac. Um, I'll start the Mac, and it just says there's no battery. Um, so I had to um, contact the seller, and he was nice enough to send me a new battery right away. Uh, kudos to him. Quick return, turn around. He sent me a new battery before I even send him mine. So he gave me a, a shipping label. I returned his battery back to him, the dead one. While uh, during that exchange of about three days or so, I was running uh, my Mac without the battery. And I didn't want to put the old one in because guys, when you're removing the old one, it's glued together the double-sided tape in here. It was it was stuck together so hard. By the time I pulled this battery out, it was uh, or punctured in a couple of places. And so I'll explain you how to do it so you don't uh, burn your house down with uh, by replacing the battery. So anyway, so I, today today I received a new battery, and this is new battery. Well, it, it's kind of sad when you get the battery and it's uh, it's taped, it's shipped to you like this when the battery box is sticking out just with the tape. It's, it's already kind of raising a concern to me. I mean, this is this is right here. This is, I'm opening the battery up, and this is my replacement. So, let's look what's inside of this box. And if, well, the battery comes with the two drivers, which you will need. This is a good bonus. Foam, and here's the battery. Here is the battery in the box. Let's get this thing out of the box. Um, in the listing on eBay, it says this is. It says that this is originally original OEM factory Apple battery. It kind of seems like it right here because this battery and my original battery have same kind of print right here on this sticker, and this sticker have same. Um, similar print but when you go to the board when you look at the board and the stickers on the board and all the part numbers it doesn't seem like it's original um, it doesn't have a serial number also the factory battery on the back side of it each battery has its part number barcode um, serial numbers and all kinds of information this battery does not have any of that 
does not have it. It has some just a part number, but it doesn't, it's not the same as the Apple battery. Also, it has this weird China sticker. That's what makes me believe that it's just a knockoff. I'm not gonna say it is because even the board is different. I mean, I can tell by the board how the board is made. It's, um, it's a little bit different board than, let's peel the sticker off, yeah. Yeah, I can I can tell that the board is not um, is not the same. So that's it makes me believe that this is not a factory OEM battery, but I cannot prove that it's not. So we're just gonna um, we're just gonna you know do what we do. So anyway, um, let's get to the part of replacing the battery. So we're gonna put my original one aside. The new battery is going right here. Let me put a rug so I don't scratch my um, face of my MacBook Pro. And I had to tape it so I can just, um, so I didn't want to put screws in, so I just temporarily just taped it. Uh, once um, you're replacing the battery, use one of the screwdrivers. The one screwdriver is to remove all the screws. They're all the same size, so don't worry about mixing them up. Not a big deal. Uh, put them in a safe place. If you lose them, you can buy them on eBay. There's a whole bunch of um, eBay screws for $5. You can get a whole set of 10. Once you get your cover off, this is excellent opportunity to get your a can of your compressed air and blow it out, clean it, and make sure everything is nice and clean. Now, like I told you, original battery was glued to this panel right here and it was stuck for life. Please do not use screwdrivers or anything to pry it out because as you priming it out right here I pushed it too hard and now the dent is visible on this side right here small little mark so be careful what I would use is I would get a credit card and start working it with a credit card pushing it out also this pad right here be careful this is your uh, touchpad on the other side so don't puncture it because you're gonna damage your uh, touchpad very careful once you get the battery removed there's two screws that holding this uh, board this board right here before I take all the covers off and all the tape and stick it to it I want to plug the battery in and I want to test it and make sure this is uh, uh, they sent me a good working battery so let's do this by uh, what I want to do is I just want to secure this board right here with with the screws so it doesn't short anything or and why I'm thinking this is not a factory because on the factory board the screw holes were just the size of the screws on this board right here they're so big the screw can pretty much fall right through it and not hold the, the hold the board in place really well so all right let's put the screws in just so it's nice and secured and nothing is uh, flying out well another thing another thing i want to tell you once you peel this tape that's holding batteries together the aftermarket batteries don't have pads on the factory batteries, they have this little cushiony, um, cushiony little foam right here on one on each battery, so that the the back cover push 